Hello everybody, um, in today's video, we are going to be, or I'm going to be giving you a tour, sorry if it's all like this, it's just, I have a case, let's hold my camera up, and it's, yeah, it's just, it, it blocks the camera from the back, so I'm like filming this, like this way, so yeah, um, but in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my middle school, sorry if you hear crying, but. Um, this is Ocean View Middle School. This is a middle school that I built with my friend Michael, aka Lifeboy0299. Go subscribe. But we made a school together, and uh, it took us a long time to do. So please don't hate on it. It, it. I mean, I think it looks really good. It looks nice on the inside. The rooms are all nice. Uh, this took a very long time. And besides, if you hate, um, if you say anything mean or anything, I'll just block you and remove your comments. So. No point in doing it anyway, but still, um, oh, sorry, I should probably be giving you a tour, but there's a bit of a better view of that. Um, and if you're wondering why there's a helipad, that, my, my Michael built that, and there's really no reason why that's there, to be honest. But, yeah, this is kind of like an outside hangout area, but, um, but yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a long video, so please stay with me on this. Or, please stay with me on this? No. <laughs> sorry, I meant, uh, just to please, uh, you know, you might want to. Hang tight here, this is going to be kind of long, so. Alright, um, but this is the school bus. I'm just going to break open the door just because I don't care. But we got a school bus here. You can actually sit in the seats, which is pretty cool. Um, these are just mine carts. You can't sit in the driver's seat, though, because the, the cart would just roll away. Um, I have to go get another door, which I can easily do. Alright, um. Oh, wait, then I won't have an actual way. Okay, but these... Uh, oh wait, I thought there were like emergency exits on the top of the bus, but I guess there's not. Oh well, um, here, I have a wonderful idea. I'm just gonna simply do this. Oh, I still can't get in. Oh well, why don't we just break this instead? There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, the bus door opens and closes. So that's nice. Alright, now I gotta put everything back. I could easily put another cart here. I don't even know what happened to that. I don't even know. I really don't. Okay. But whatever. Anyway, so that's the school bus. Um, if you guys want to see the back, that's the back. All right. That's the school bus that would pull up to the school. Uh, the front here, we got a fountain. We got American flag. Of course, every school has to have this American flag. I don't know why it's glitching. That's a little weird. But got some trees out here. Uh, this is a fireplace and couch. My friend Michael built that. Again, don't worry about that. It's not really... And then this is another tree. Michael, again, built this. Um, yeah, this is kind of an interesting world. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's head through the main entrance of the school. Now, just so you guys know, the reason why there are iron doors is because the school has been closed down because of COVID. So, okay, I'm probably going to need to put those back. So, all right, but if we just turn on the lights here in the hallway, um... I'm not even going to worry about flipping all those on. I probably should have done that before the video, but whatever. Anyway, so we got uh, lockers here. Um, right here we got all these nice not lockers. Um, and then we have, so you guys are wondering what these colorful beams are. Uh, the hallways are laid out in colors, so if you ever needed to find a room, um, then you would just go down a specific hallway like, oh, go to the library. Okay, that's like, um, you know, hallway like blue or something. But... You know, or if you need to find the main office, it would be on hallway purple. So, yeah, it's kind of it just kind of makes it easier to find things. Um, then, if you wonder what these are, these are like fire alarms. So, um, these are they don't obvi obviously don't work, but you know, you can always pretend that they work. Um, then we got the fire alarm switch here. That doesn't actually work. It's just something for pretend. Um, and yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of them around the school. Uh, but yeah, here's the main office, um, slash principal's office, type room, and come in here and turn on the lights, and then if you wonder what this is, it's like a fire alarm that's inside a room that's like hung up on the ceiling, but here we got the main office, you got the like chairs here, um, you got a computer with the like secretary or whoever would sit, I don't know really, but um, this is where you would make the morning announcements, you'd speak into the microphone there, um, this is the principal, don't worry about the names, they're just, they're, they're stupid, don't worry about them. But, got the principal's office, it's really tight, but it's got a big window so the principal can look out and see if anyone's, you know, being naughty or whatever. 
Oh, we got the very tight desk. You pretty much have to like bunny hop over the desk just to get over here. It's so tight. I don't know why the room is so small, but it's probably because we had to fit everything else. We just had to find a way to fit this. And this is like if a student is sent to the principal's office, he would sit here and you'd be probably be in very big trouble uh, or whatever. We go down these doors. Uh, we just gotta turn on these lights here. Um, we go over here. This is the nurse's office. If anyone gets hurt uh, or if they're sick, um, they come here. Um, mainly if they're sick or yeah, if they get hurt. Uh, conference room right here. Uh, if I can find a light switch. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just conference room. The uh, or not conference room. Sorry. Uh, oh no, it is conference room. So I don't know why I was confused with that. Yeah, conference room. I really don't know why the. All right, um, but yeah, you can see we got like a printer, got a bookshelf, kind of like a seating area. I think, oh wait, this isn't the con the conference room, this is actually the counselor's office. I think I just forgot to switch the sign, yeah, sorry guys. Because if we look here, yes, it says mislit counselor, so yeah, you know, yeah, so it's counselor. We just, I forgot to switch the sign, that's why it confused me. <sighs> yeah, sorry about that guys, but um, yeah, so there's that. And actually, you know what? Just so I don't have to turn on all the lights, I'm gonna flip them all off here. I'm actually just gonna wear night vision, or drink night vision, just because I don't wanna have to turn on the lights, and I don't know, and, and it's so laggy in this school. I really don't know why. I think it's because of all the lockers. It's because it's why it's so laggy. Minecraft has a big problem with lag. So yeah, um, that's kind of why it's really laggy. So let me just, oh my God, Minecraft is so laggy right now, why? <laughs> Like, I just, I don't like lag, it's annoying, but I think y'all know that. Alright, so we're gonna drink this, um, no, oh, what? Of course I was an idiot and forgot my freaking. Alright, well now I gotta fix that, so that's nice. Um... Alright, there we go. Okay, so now that we have night vision, we have to turn on the lights. So, continuing down the purple hallway, we will come into here, this is a speech room. Um, you know, for all those, like, um, kids with autism, you know, they come in here and they have speech, um, you know, during a period of time. Um, yeah, so, that's that. Okay, okay. Um, and then, yeah, these are obviously hallway clocks, so people in the hallway, you know, you know can know when, when the next class is gonna start. That's the entrance into the, con the counselor room, the counselor room. Right here is just another, um, speech room. Pretty basic, it's just the same as the last one. Um, and yeah, coming down to the, all in the purple hallway. And then this is just another entrance outside. Um, and yeah, now that's the blue hallway, but I will show you that um, a little later. I'm gonna show you guys the red hallway now. So this is gonna be a very long tour. I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can. So in here we have an English room. I don't, why the books are black. That wasn't like that before. I don't know why they're like that now. That's a little bit weird, but oh, it's probably because I have the night vision on. All right. Anyway, guys. Um. So every classroom has a TV because all these classrooms have um chalkboards. Um. Because they didn't really look good with whiteboards. We just decided to use old school chalkboards. That's kind of why every school has every room has a TV. So if you'll notice the TV, that's kind of why. Um. And then every room obviously have sinks as well because you know the whole coronavirus is going around. You know you gotta wash your hands. And then this is obviously the teacher's desk. Um, yeah, and then continuing over here, we got, um, English again, more English rooms. This one's a bit bigger, I think, or maybe it's just, uh, kind of laid out differently. That's why it feels bigger. Um, and that's, uh, so, yeah, I think it's just because of the lockers. That's why everything's so laggy. Um, then we got just another English room. It's all just laid out the same. I don't really need to show you much of it. Um, we got, you know, another English room. All right, um. And then this is, this is the conference room. This is, yeah, this is the conference room. This is kind of where teachers can have meetings and stuff, you know, all those teacher meetings and whatever. Um, that's what that room is. Um, and then right here we have a literacy classroom, um, which is basically, you know, just, it's kind of laid out like the English classrooms. It's basically, that's basically what it is. It's laid out like the English classrooms are. Um, and then we got English again. This is kind of a smaller room. Um, and then we got uh, the Lizard Literacy Classroom. All right, continuing down here, we got, you know, again, another Literacy Classroom. They're all kind of tight, but whatever. All right, in here, this is the cafeteria. So, and of course, if you guys didn't know, 
ocean view is home of the seagulls so you know the schools have their own like mascot and whatever i just decided to be you know to use seagulls because it's like ocean you know a lot of beaches have seagulls and whatever flying around so that's kind of what that's for um here we got the tables here um we got the line where you get your lunch we have this whole glass cover because again there's covid so you gotta have protection um here's where you get your milk uh you walk along the line you get your food you know you get your sides and then this is where you punch your lunch number in and then you come and take your seat um this is these are just trash cans all around here throw your lunch away and head out this is a stage a lot of middle schools have stages in the lunch room so that's kind of what this is this is a microphone that my friend michael built um, the reason that there's both an American flag and an Irish flag is because we couldn't make a country flag, so, or, uh, no, not country flag, but a state flag, so we just decided to just go for Ireland, just because we just felt like it. Um, and then, before I show you guys that room hidden behind there, I'll show you guys the kitchen, uh, in the lunchroom here. This is a pretty lit kitchen, though. You got a fridge, and then you got a sink, got a lot of ovens and stuff, all the food. And then we got um, a room behind the stage, which is actually the drama room. Take you guys in here. Uh, this room is full of stuff. So you got like where the children kind of sit and like have lessons. Got their TV, desk, got like all like stage props and whatever, costume, um, where they hang up their costumes or whatever. My dogs are being stupid, don't mind them. Um, hopefully that dog doesn't bark. I'm pretty sure it's gonna bark any time now, but. And obviously these, this red around here is like curtains. All right, um, I'm just gonna head through here just because I don't really, I don't really care about closing the door, so I'm just gonna, just gonna leave them open. Okay, so that was the red hallway, so I'm now just gonna take you into the pink hallway. Here we got Miss uh, Knapp, which is robotics. So here's the robotics room. These are like saws that cut wood. These are like two pieces of wood being cut in half. This is like a big red button. I don't really know what it does. I've seen that in like a robotics room. Um, and you're if you're wondering why the computers don't have screens, I don't know. I swear we put screens on them. They just keep disappearing magically. I really don't know how they're doing that, but, you know, tables where they could sit and do, like, art projects or whatever. Um, this is, like, a 3D printer, um, teacher desk, TV, and the ceiling is higher because it's, like, a robotics room. The ceiling's obviously got to be higher. Pink hallway, nothing along this wall. Um, coming in here, we have the home ec room where you learn to, like, cook and stuff. Again, the ceiling's high in here. Um, there's like washer and dryers, you know, for laundry, you know, aprons. Here you got the kitchen, you know, where the students can learn how to cook. These are like oven ranges or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, that's what this room is. Let's see how much time we got. Oh my God, 12 minutes. Or that's not how much time we got. That's how much time we've been in this video. All right, so that's that. Now I'll show you guys the dark blue hallway. So I'm going to come along here. I already showed you guys that entrance. Um, and then here's the break room, so this is like if the teachers just need a little bit of a break, they can come in here. It's nice and relaxing, you got a TV, you got a fish tank right here, fish are nice and happy. Just kidding, they're, be, they're being tortured, they're, being, they're just trapped in a small tank. But we can always pretend that they're happy. Uh, as you can see, they are trying to escape. But here's a little kitchen area, you know, teachers can make a, some food and stuff, a little sitting area. And then we got a little bathroom in here, you know, for... You don't have to get out and use the bathroom. There's already a bathroom in it, so that's the break room. Um, coming down here, we have special education rooms for all those like disabled kids. This is like the rooms that they would come into. Um, those mentally disabled kids, you know. And then we got another one right here, which is just laid out differently. Um, and then yeah, that's the blue hallway. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's nothing along the orange hallway. It's all just lockers. Uh, but here's the dark green hallway. Um, here we got uh, some bathrooms. So we got boys. You know, it just has a few urinals, trash can, bunch of sinks. And of course, we have the toilets right in here. I really don't know why that one doesn't have toilet paper. I think someone used all of it. Um, that's not fair. Uh, and I got another toilet right there. Um, and then, you know, this is like a water fountain right here. And these, this is the girls' bathroom, you know, sinks, and obviously these are just toilets, and that's obviously the same for all those. Um, so I don't really gotta show you all of them. And then, yeah, that's the dark green hallway, just all, all that's in the dark green hallway are just some bathrooms. Um, that's, we already showed you the red hallway, nothing on the orange hallway. Alright, so now I can get onto the light blue hallway, so. Um, right here we got, oh, I need to drink more night vision, hang on. Alright, so here we got a science classroom, um, we got a bunch of sinks here. 
We got like um, a tables, which just has like art stuff, or not art stuff, but science y stuff, kind of like potions and stuff. You can mix potions and whatever. You got a TV up here. You got um, this is like the eye washing station. So if you get chemicals in your eyes, it's like you push a big button and it sprays water in your eyes or whatever. Um, fire alarm. Um, this is the shower in here. So if you get a chemical like on your body, you come in here and wash off. Here we got like the controls, temperature. This is the big old shower head. Um, and that's like a bench you'd sit down on. Um, I don't know why that door's not closing, probably because of the lag, but whatever. Teacher's desk, you know, I have a little sink and whatever. Um, and then in here is just a storage room, you know, with a printer. So, yeah, not really much in here. You can store all the stuff for the projects. Uh, continuing down this hallway, we have another science classroom, which is just the same as the other one. You know, sinks, you know, and everything. You know, shower room's basically the same. Uh, you know, storage room's the same, so... Um, the reason I'm going pretty quick is because my phone is on low battery. Let me just check, see how much battery life it's got. Oh, it's on 11%. All right, we're good. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, any, okay, I already showed you guys that one. Uh, there's that one. All right, and then here we got another science classroom, which is literally, again, the same thing. I literally don't have to show you. It's the same thing as the others, so there's no point in showing you those rooms because I've already shown you, technically. Um, and then we got another science classroom. It's basically the same as the others. Like, if you don't believe me, it's literally just, yeah, it's all, all the science classrooms are the same, so I don't gotta show you. Um, here's the math room here. We got first math room here. This is a really big classroom. Like, this is probably one of the biggest classrooms ever. Like, just regular classrooms. Like, there's so many more seats, you know, there's a big desk, there's sinks, got a ton of storage here, printer. Um, giant chalkboard right here. You can do tons of math equations on that thing. Um... You come down here, there's the other side of the lunchroom. Um, you can come down here, we got another math room. It's just laid out the same as the other. All the math rooms, all the classrooms are laid out mainly, basically the same. Got another pair of bathrooms here, got boys, you know, just, you know, sinks, toilets. You already saw the toilets. Um, and, you know, fountains, you know, here's the girls' bathroom, basically the same as that. All the toilets. Um, and then here we got the library, otherwise known as the media center. So you come in here, you know, you got all these laid out as an alphabetical, um, which is pretty nice. You got all the bookshelves back there. Uh, you got all the computers here. And then, of course, here it says Siegel. Here we got, like, a bunch of seating areas. Here you can do, like, you can sit here and read a book. You can sit here and kind of chill and read. Here's the checkout here. This is kind of, I don't know why this is here, really. <laughs> um, the door into here is just right over here. Uh, some computers that the librarians can work on. Here, you know, librarians can here, scan a book. Again, um, we have the glass protection, like, in the lunchroom because of COVID, so, you know, extra COVID protection. Um, and then that's the, yeah, that's the library. All right, and then that's just an entrance that leads outside. This um, school does not have a football field. Um, we just were, like, we were spending so much time in the school, we just didn't feel like putting one. And also, there's no parking lots, but... Yeah, I already showed you guys the drama room. That was basically the room that was behind the stage. Uh, so if you guys didn't believe me there. Uh, here's the band room. Um, so basically, this is supposed to be a trombone. I did a terrible job on that one. I don't like that at all. I'm probably going to destroy that. Got some drums here. More drums. Uh, here's where you, you store your instrument instrument cases. Kind of like a radio. You can play songs too. Um, here's like music stands. You can put your sheet music here. You can sit down here. Big old chalkboard, you can write like music notes and whatever, um, teacher's desk, um, and then you come down this hallway, we got, um, orchestra room, uh, you know, these are supposed to be bases, I don't, I didn't really do a good job on those, printers, you can print out music sheets, you know, storage for the instruments, you know, the basses would just chill over here as well as like the cellos and whatever, um, but like the violins and violas would chill in here, um, yeah. And that's that. Um, then across the hall from the orchestra room, we have a technology room, which is basically where, you know, you got computers. It's basically just a computer class. You know, seats, teacher's desk, whatever. All that jazz. Uh, and then over here, we got another technology room, except everything is just opposite. You know, put in opposite places. Um, and then we got um, the choir room, which my friend Michael built. As you can stand up here and you can sing. Um, and that's basically it. That's literally it. There's not much in there. Alright, showed you that room. And then here's a trophy case right here. So, you know, for all the school's awards. Um, here's the teacher's lounge. 
you know, teachers can get like printed work and whatever. Um, and here's the computer lab, basically. I don't really know why there's a computer lab and there's already like technology classes and whatever, but there's a computer lab if you need one. <laughs> All right, so that's the bright green hallway. Now we're on to the last hallway, which is the yellow hallway. Um, so if we race over here real quick. Um, come over here, we got the art room. Um, this is just, we have crafting chests, you can like create stuff. Here you store all the art projects or you know, art supplies, whatever. Here you can wash your hands, one because of COVID, and two if you get paint on your hands. You can wash your hands there. Got a storage section there, TV, TV right there, you know, desk and everything. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is cracking. I don't know why. Um, probably because I'm hitting puberty. So here is the, the gym here, um, the main gym. This is gym A. Um, this is supposed to be a seagull because most gyms would have their logo like on the middle of the gym. And OVS is supposed to mean like Ocean View School, but I didn't have enough room to write all the letters. Um, here we got the, um, what are these called? Bleachers. Sit down here. You got the basketball hoops. These are so like the basketball hoops can fold up. And you can have, you know, I don't really know why they would want to fold up, but whatever. Um, and then obviously we have the sky roof here, which looks really nice if you come down here. Um, so we didn't feel like putting lights in here. And of course it says seagulls who you know, support our school. And I'll show you the gym once we get to the other side there, but, or yeah, I'll show you the other gym. The school has two gyms, but right here we have, in this area we have the history classrooms. So you come in here and you got like history, this is like the map, cartography table, you know, for maps and stuff. Um, you know, sinks, cause COVID, whatever. Um, yeah. And you can come down here, we got another history classroom over here, um, which is, yeah, just the same as before. Uh, another exit. This actually leads out into the area here. And my friend Michael built this. This was, like, we went to school together in sixth grade, and this was, like, the outside area, like, that we would go to after lunch. And he kind of built this from memory, and it does, like, bring the memories back of, like, us in that grade. And we are transforming into high school, so it's kind of nice to have that there for memories. But... Now we're on to the final hallway of the school, which I think is honestly kind of the biggest hallway, but... Okay, we have the final set of bathrooms down here. You know, we have the boys' bathroom. And this actually connects into the boys' locker room and showers. Um, but yeah, we got the sinks here. You know, we got the toilets. We got the urinal. Uh, come down here, we got the boys' lo locker room. And then, of course, we got the boys' showers. I gotta drink more of the stupid freaking night vision. Uh, and then that's like the shower controls and whatever. All these are showers and stuff here. Um, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> um, and that's that. Here's the girls' side. Obviously, these are water fountains. But here's the girls' side. You know, girls' bathroom, all that. It's just toilets. Girls' locker room. Um, then we got the girls' showers in here. Um, and we come out this side. Why can't I close the door? I don't know. <laughs> Um, and here we got, uh, that's just the boy showers, um, here we got the concession stand over here, so for like big events happening at the school, you know, people want to buy snacks, you also got these vending machines here, these are the school's vending machines, snacks from the water, we got water fountains, we got this um, clock there, but we also have a concession stand for people, you know, that just want snacks that are not in the vending machine, and then we also have a working opening door for the concession stand, so if you click here, it opens up the concession stand if you don't believe me legit it legit is all open it's not all like fake or whatever it actually opens and then it also closes uh, like that I don't know how to do that so um, I'm sure I'll ask Michael to upload a tutorial to his channel on how to make like opening up like stuff like that uh, but then back here is where you could store like ice cream pops and whatever snacks chips all sorts of stuff is where you can store all the snacks in here is the second gym. This gym is smaller than the other, but we have gym B. Again, it's just another gym. This would be like the tornado shelter or whatever, but clearly not because there's a glass roof, so probably don't want that to be the... Um, but um, here is the like storage room here, and then you also got the office for the gym teachers. So in here is like their office. There's like controls for the radio inside the gym. They can listen to music. Um... And also, if you guys didn't know, the, the two gyms are connected to each other. So if you go through these doors, this, these doors lead into the main gym. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, and then, yeah, that's, yeah. And then, of course, it's just the same as the other gym, except smaller. It doesn't have the logo in the middle. You know, bleachers and everything. Michael worked on this gym while I worked on the main gym. And, uh, yeah, so that, I mean, that's it, guys. That is the entire school done. That's the whole school. Yep. And then, yeah, then that's a radio tower right there uh, built by my friend Michael. But, yeah, guys, um, that is Ocean View Middle School, home of the Seagulls. That is the new, um school that we just got done building i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did smash or not the tutorial a tour if you guys did smash a like subscribe to the channel road to 400 subscribers turn on notifications so you won't miss an upload also subscribe to my second channel and my third channel logan c223 logan c224 and logan c225 road to um 100 subscribers on both those channels turn on and then uh yeah um i'll see you guys next time peace out